Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm very glad you joined me today. I want to read a passage of scripture and then talk about it with you. It's in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. It says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. God is talking to Solomon and he's also talking to you and I today. What he's saying is the problems of the world that we tend to blame on others, we need to look in the mirror at ourselves, especially if you're a Christian, and we need to ask the question, am I right with God myself? Am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? Are there things in my life that are out of line with God? And if so, I need to get right with God because I cannot make everybody else believe in God. I can't make everybody else understand biblical principles or what is righteous or what's virtue. All I can do is live that life myself. I can be a testimony and I can witness verbally uh, for the Lord, but I can't make people understand that. Only the Holy Spirit of God can. But I am responsible for my own spiritual condition, and so are you if you're a Christian. When it says, if my people, he's talking to us. He's talking to believers. If you're a believer and you're watching this right now, this message is specifically for you and for me. And it says, what you're called by my name. The name of God Moses asked the question one time, he said, who shall I say sent me? And God said, I am. Literally the word meant, I was, I am, I will be, meaning uh, the eternally existent God, our creator, uh, is the one. When he says my name, the name Yeshua, we say Jesus, literally means God is my salvation. So the one who can save our nation and save the world and save each individual person is God himself and he exists in the person of Jesus Christ and in the person of the Holy Spirit and in the person of God the Father one God he just re reveals himself in three persons and he says uh, and if we will humble ourselves Someone told me one time, they said, oh, that's easy to humble yourself. I said, no, it's not easy because you have to die to your own selfish will. And I think it's one of the hardest things we ever do and need to do in our life is to humble ourselves before God. And it says, and pray. Do you pray on a regular basis? Do you and I complain about things going on in our country, in the world, in the economy, and so forth? But do we ever stop and just turn to God and say, Lord, we need your help? Show us what to do or not to do, and we'll obey you. Pray, talk to God. And it says, and seek my face. In Hebrew, it's panim al panim. It means face to face. It means to come before God into his presence in prayer and humbly admit we've made our own mistakes before I point the finger at anyone else. I need to examine myself and get right with God myself. And then it says, and turn from their wicked ways. That's what I'm talking about. Every sin that we commit is a wicked way before God. We need to acknowledge it. We need to ask God to forgive us for it and cleanse us of it. And we also need to ask him to empower us to resist the temptation to do it. And then he says, and then I'll hear from heaven and I'll forgive their sin and we'll heal their land. You want America to be healthy? You want your family to be healthy, your community to be healthy? We need to do this. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. Please read it, pray over it, think about it, and do it. God bless you.